Hi everyone, it's Jane here for Creators Corner. I've really missed ha having fun cooking with you guys, but I hear that you've been cooking up all sorts of tasty treats, so well done. I hope you enjoy this week's creative challenge. Um, so I'm here to give this week's Creators Corner talk. I hear that we've been looking at songs from the Bible, and today's song is Psalm 20, and in particular this verse, which goes like this. Some trust in chariots and some trust in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. King David wrote this. What was he on about? Well, we're about to find out, but first of all, I've got a quick quiz for you. So I'm gonna give you the name of three people, and then I'm going to ask you what those people can be trusted for. To make it a bit easier, I'll give you two choices, and you have to say which one is the thing the person can be trusted for, and which is the thing they can't. I, I won't be able to hear you, of course, it will be just for fun, but um, I hope you enjoy it. Are you ready? Good. Okay, person number one, Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. Can she be trusted to A, laugh at a joke about farts, or B, come top in class? And the answer is B, come top in class. She's very brainy, but she doesn't always see the funny side of things. So person number two is Scar from The Lion King. Can he be trusted to A, pretend to be your friend but secretly be your enemy, or B, be a good loser? That's right, he's an absolutely terrible loser and can only be trusted to look after himself. So the final person is footballer Lionel Messi. Can he, a, be trusted to be late for training because he's been having his hair done, or B, be trusted to dribble past most defenders. That's right, his dribbling is legendary, um, his fashion choices um, less so. <laughs> so when we hear a person's name, we think about their reputation, all the things we can trust them for and not trust them for. When David thought about God's name, he thought about how you could trust God more to keep you safe than having chariots and horses. So in those days, chariots and horses were the best weapons you could have. But David thought that having God on your side and trusting him and his word was better than having the best army and the best weapons in the world. And he wasn't just hoping. Just like we decided what we could trust Hermione, Scar and Messi for, by what they did and how they acted, David also knew that it was better to trust God than his own army or even the best army in the world because of what God had already done for the Israelites. So some of you may know this about the story of the Exodus when the Israelites were escaping Pharaoh. So evil Pharaoh chased them with his best chariots and horses and trapped them at the edge of the Red Sea. The Israelites had no weapons to defend themselves, and that should have been the end of them. But amazingly, God rolled back the sea to create a path for them to escape through to safety. And when Pharaoh's chariots and horses raced in after them, God sent the water back over them, and they were swallowed up by the sea. Pharaoh trusted his own power and his horses and chariots to beat the Israelites, but the Israelites had God on their side, and his name can always be trusted. Some trust in chariots and some trust in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. So when we face tough times following Jesus and we are tempted to rely on our own ideas or our own strength, just remember that God and his word can always be trusted. If we trust him and obey his word, God always works for our good, even if it looks hopeless like it did for the Israelites. So always remember, some trust in chariots and some trust in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Bye everyone.